Hey everybody, it's Rosie here. I'm a Green Status Elite presenter with Unique, and what I'm going to do today is share with you guys um, our 3D Fiber Lashes Plus Mascara. I'm going to show you a couple of tips, tricks, and trades, um, and how to use it um, properly so that you, as my customer, are happy with it and uh, want to use it all the time. So here's the packaging. Pretty exciting. Nice little packaging. Um, here's a pouch that you can just toss in your purse and then it comes with two tubes transplanting gel and fibers great product I uh, love the little windows here that we have the um, fibers are a rayon fiber that is um, fortified with our uplift eye serum which is going to help condition your lashes and make them um, super strong and just um, amazing with the 3d fiber lashes I'm trying to get this off so that I can get ready uh, to show you and you always want to be ready because transplanting gel will dry fast so you want to focus on one eye at a time until it's um, all done and then uh, go to the next eye. I'm going to show you guys with this um, our um, with a clean face with no other makeup on because I want you to see the full results of what um, this uh, mascara can do. Magic mascara whatever you want to call it but it's amazing. So you start with the gel and it's got a cone shaped uh, tip here so you can get the insides of your lashes really good now everybody's different um, so it's all based on personal preference what you like but what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the um, transplanting gel on my lashes just like applying mascara and you want to kind of shimmy it in there get it really good and wet with the gel um, so that the fibers will adhere to it later if you get any on your lid, don't worry about it because it does wipe away pretty easily. So that's nice. So good and wet. Oh, I really got it good up there. That's okay though. Okay. Oh, I'm really making a mess of myself, aren't I? Check that out. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, a good foundation of gel here. I'll just wipe that away with our shine cloth. And then you take your fibers, and if you want uh, thicker and fuller lashes, um, as well as some length, start in the middle of your lashes and move your way up, and then focus on the back side as well. And do that with the gel as well. I did that earlier, I just didn't say that. And then you're gonna take the gel again and seal it in. So those fibers don't fall on your face later during the day or anything like, like that. Um, so seal it back up on both sides and then get them how you want them to be. And voila, all done. Let me get that off of there so that you guys can kind of see. That's a shine cloth. Okay, so we have our gel on the outside. And you can see my lashes, even from this far away, you can see how thick and full they are. They're a lot better um, than the other eye. Check that out. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay, now you can also do the bottoms of your lashes if you want. I only just use the transplanting gel just to kind of get the, the tips of them good and golden. So you have that. Now, a couple of quick tips. To keep them warm, uh, keep the gel uh, warm, you can put it under your armpit. Some women put it in their bra. You can use a cup of warm water before you um, get ready to do your mascara if you're putting on the rest of your makeup first. Whatever you want to do, that's going to help keep the gel last a little bit longer um, so it's nice and warm and ready to use. Also, with your mascara and any mascara, it doesn't matter if it's unique or any other mascara, you do not want to pump up your tube because what that's going to do is it's going to create air pockets it's going to dry out the the product faster so you don't want to do that on any kind of um, mascara so anybody doing that don't do it one other thing is if you want your gel to last longer you want to make sure that once you seal your your fibers in some of the loose fibers that get onto the brush take a wet cloth or um, a damp washcloth and rub the fibers off of the off the brush before you put it back in the tube because over time you're going to keep doing that and keep putting those fibers in there 
These fibers are fortified with Uplift Eye Serum, like I said, shared earlier. So they're a lot thicker, and um, it, the more that you put in there, the more it's going to dry out. So this product will last about six to eight weeks, 12 at the most. Some of you that wear mascara maybe once a week, once once or twice a week, maybe just a rare occasion, you can probably um, have it last about 12 weeks is probably max. Those of you that wear it every single day, you should probably be changing it out at least four to six weeks. Six weeks at the max, especially if you're wearing it every day. Those of you that wear it rarely, um, I would say eight weeks, six to eight weeks would be just plenty of time for you to do that. Now, a couple of quick tips. I don't share this with everybody, but just my customers. What you're going to do is if you happen to get your gel and it's super clumpy and you are not happy with it, what you can do is you can take the brush out and you can use our rose water, refreshed rose water, and spray the uh, spray a couple of things on your brush and shove it back in there and kind of swirl it around. Do not pump it. Just swirl it around in there and kind of uh, loosen up the gel, um, and that's going to help um, get the consistency back to where you want it to be. Okay? If you um, are seeing that that's happening, it's probably time to change it out. Um, if it's happening too soon, um, then you need to contact me and we can get you set up with a new set of lashes because that's not okay. Um, so, gel fiber gel. You can do a second coat if you want or you can go about your business. Now, you can use a lash curler. You can use a lash comb to comb through the uh, lashes as well and you can also do um, blow them up which is using a blow dryer face it up like this and blow up your lashes um, and that'll help kind of curl them in and get the gel and fibers stuck in there really good Great thing about this is is it washes away just fine with water and soap uh, facial cleanser uh, I recommend that uh, illuminate facial cleanser that we have perfect for that um, and I also recommend these wonderful shine cloths they are fabulous for taking off 3D fiber lashes. As you can see, I've got some of them. Um, I made a mistake earlier, so I have some lashes here. It takes it off completely away, and it's amazing. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and um, if you have any questions, shoot me a message anytime. Again, uh, I'm Rosie with uh, Unique, and I'm super excited to share with you again another time. Sparkle on!